What's up, y'all? Welcome to the Chess Giants, your boy Solo. Today's video, we're going to be playing the Hippopotamus Defense. Very underrated option, um, you know, especially in bull chess. I mean, even the standard. We got guys like the Ginger GM, Hikaru Nakamura, and a ton of others playing this with good success, uh, you know, in, uh, in longer time controls. But I think, you know, first off, it's very hard for Block to, to make any kind of opening traps, right, against uh, the Hippo. And on top of that, it's all about controllability. I mean, I'm playing the Hippo every single game. They probably don't see it very often, so that gives me the upper hand as well. Um, let's play h3 before we play f4 so that knight g4 can't happen. Uh, okay, let's continue with f5. You want to take that's fine. Okay, king h2. I don't like the check ideas. We'll take. Uh, we'll play g4 now. And yeah, here we go. I mean, this is all, uh, as you guys will see, I mean, th these are the types of positions we see all the time. I want to play g5. Uh, we'll play h4 first, though. Okay, we'll play g5 now. And we will throw a knight into h5. We'll play knight f6 check. c4 is played. I don't really care. We'll play knight g5. Okay, fine. I'll put my bishop on a better square if you want me to. Uh, let's see. It's hard for black to defend this. Uh, knight e8 might be the way to go, which is what we see. We'll take this. We'll take back. Uh, we'll attack the rook. We'll attack the rook again. We'll take the knight because they decided to move the rook out of the way. Queen f1. Um, okay, so this is just winning. Obviously, I just got to finish this now. A6. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, my bishop can't even move. That's interesting. Okay, a4, a5. When in doubt, just start just chucking pawns down the board like there's no tomorrow. Bishop takes g5, uh, okay, a6, rook a6, check, we'll take there, we'll take there, we'll play that, uh, okay, I don't want you to have a queen, what do you think this is, here, boom, 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 ugh, gotta give my king some shelter. Uh, there's a queen. You don't want the queen? Okay, that's fine. Looks like we're going to have a draw. Yeah, okay. So first game ends up in draw. Let's keep it rolling. Uh, couldn't quite finish that one out, even though I had a better game. Uh, let's just start off by feeding shadowing both of our pawns. Um, D3. But, you know, there's only so many things that the opponent can do against the hippo, right? I mean... We're going to play h3 now, castle king side. Let's play a3 so that if a4 is played, we got b4 ready to go. We'll play e4 now. Again, we're getting very similar positions every time. f4, f5. We'll take back with the pawn. Uh, if you take back with the pawn or the knight, it really just depends on the position and what kind of positions you like to reach. Uh, we'll play knight g3 now. We will defend that pawn on f4. And okay, we'll play e5. We got f5 ready to go now. We'll play it. And, okay, we face a move like that. We'll just defend the pawn on e5 more. Mm. Okay, that's a good move. That's a good move. I'll, I'll give it to him. That's a good move. Uh, okay, you want to do that? That's fine. Pin the pawn or at least act like I'm doing something. King g2, uh, f6. When in doubt, just, again, just chuck the pawns at the opponent's king. Uh, especially in bull chess, you know? So, okay, we're attacking the pawn there. I don't know why Black's not taking on e5. Black's had all day to do that. Uh, okay, now that h6 pawn's a huge, uh, a huge target, so we're going to take there, we're going to check. Okay, we're going to check. We're going to check. We're going to check. We're just going to keep going back and forth, doing a little dance, and we win the game. Okay, let's keep it going. Uh, okay, hippo g6, bishop g7, ooh, play d6. Sometimes you can see your opponent play bishop h6 and, you know, try to pre-move you. Uh, by the way, that is the trap. Don't play knight d7 because bishop takes f7 is brutal. So play e6 first, and then you're good, and you don't fall into a trap. Bishop g5 is played. Okay, we're going to play what we're going to do anyways. Uh, we got g5 now, which is a common idea, and we get tempo yet again against that bishop. 
Move like A6 doesn't hurt. I'm trying to play B5. Okay, you don't want me to play that. I'll play B6. Okay, I'm going to play B5 now anyways. Uh, Bishop B7 attacking that centralized pawn. Mm, let's play E5. E5 and D5 are, are both somewhat playable there. Uh, castle kingside. Take back with the knight. Okay, you don't want to do that. Uh, we'll play king h7 because our pawn's currently pinned. And now this pawn is free to run. We're now eyeing that bishop on g3. Of course, this queen is pretty active, so we got to watch out for that. Take back on e5. We'll capture back again. Mm. Okay, black here's trying to get cute. Uh, let's do that and that. Okay, rook e2. Okay, knight h4. We got to go on the attack here. Um, that's another advantage, I think, of the hippo is that it really is um, is good for really any style of play. Uh, you know, if you're aggressive, you can use it. If you're positional, you can obviously use it. Um, you know, I, and, and look, I mean, this isn't an opening where you're trying to win, right, in the first 10, 15, 20 moves. But you are getting a, you know, you are getting games where you can you can kind of direct, uh, you know, what you're trying to do. So, okay, we check. We play knight f3 with check. We play knight h4 with check. We play knight f5 because it's bullet chess. I don't know what to do. Catch back with the rook. Maybe, okay, queen g2 first. Catch back with the rook. We'll pre-move there. Okay, you don't want me to do that. Got it. Boom, 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 boom. Takes, boom. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Uh, okay, we'll make a queen. I'm cool with that. We'll throw in a check. Click me h3. Check, check. Boom. Wow, that was a close one. 0.17, goodness. Okay, let's play g6, pre-move bishop g7, e6. Bro, I'm not going to fall for that, man. Come on, bro. What do you think this is? I'm not, I mean, I'm not Hikaru, but I'm not, I'm not 400. Uh, by the way, if you're 400, sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. Uh, d5, we'll take there. We'll go back. We're going to continue now with knight d7, as always, right? Castle and king side. Knight f6. It's really easy to mobilize your knights in the hippo, which is nice. Uh, okay, rook c8, defending that pawn a little bit. Mm, I want to play f6, but that's going to damage my pawn on e6 a little bit, make it a bigger target. So just play with a little bit more patience there, uh, which I got to remind myself of sometimes. f5. Okay, I've had enough sitting around. I got to try to play aggressive here. f5, attack that bishop. c5, attack the queen. And the pawn on d4. I'll take off that pawn. You want to take on e6 that's cool but i don't think you will uh okay well okay we'll take there we'll take there we'll just bring that bishop back we'll play bishop e4 you could take back uh a whole idea being a bishop takes and rook takes we're just going to play b5 and we're going to play b5 anyways so now we can pre-move there but i mean if that knight moves you just lose the rook so okay gives up and that's the game. Let's keep it rolling. Bull chess, you know what it is. Uh, let's play B3. Big Larson's opening guy. I mean, I've been playing E4 my whole life, but guys, the Larson's really good. Really in Owen's defense, but up a move. And uh, you can really put the, with this bishop, not the knight, put the opponent on black uh, pretty quickly if if uh, the opponent's not careful. So, But look, I mean, if you if you face something that you don't like, for example, um, okay, just, you know, if there's a you know, some kind of setup that black can play that you don't like going against, just transpose into the into the hip when you're in business. Black can try to play something like F4. Um, it's probably not sound, but it's bullet chess, and, you know, you know how it goes. I might play F4. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm playing D4. C4 is another option here. I want to get in D5 potentially, but black's like, nah, you good. So I'll play F4. This is a very bad bishop, but it is a bishop. So we can take that off whenever we'd like. We can do that. Uh, okay. And we can take there. We can... Oh, that was totally a mouse slip. Holy smokes. Um, but black doesn't really seem to care much about that. Uh, we'll capture there. Okay. In that case, we will simply... You know, if you don't want my rook, don't take my rook. You know, I mean, it's just one of those things. So now we're up two points of material. Black trying to turn this into a dub. 
Uh, block with a more active game, but they are running out of pawns. Um, they only have four left, so. Mm, Queen G4, we're up in material, so let's trade down. Actually, I have that intermediate move there with bishop takes d5 check, but I still have it. Bishop takes, take the knight. I'm not going to take there because I lose my bishop. Uh, I'll take back with the king, and I will play knight e4. Okay, so I'm down on time. I got to pick it up. Check. Boom. Uh, f5, f6. One one nice thing about having more pieces is that you can kind of just start pre-moving like freaking crazy. And, uh, okay, well, I don't like that, but, okay, I don't like that either. This guy's really trying to win. This guy's really trying to win. Uh, but I should be able to finish this one out. Hopefully, uh, queen c7. You only got so many moves. Boom. There we go. Let's keep rolling. Hippo defense chess. Y'all hippo fans out there, nothing but respect. All right. By the way, knight f3. Um, okay, boy, bro just aborted me. Okay, you're not that. Okay, all right, whatever. Okay, so we could play the black mustang defense with knight c6 and e5. Very good in bullet, followed by e4. If you haven't seen my uh, video on the black mustang, uh, check that out. Really good in bullet chess. I've got a ton of wins with that. I think with longer time controls, it's not as good because they're when they see knight c6, they're like, oh, let me just play d4. But okay, so we see d4 uh, right now. Let's just play g6. Bishop g7, d6, e6. Wow, four pawns. So um, here, why trying to play very aggressively? Uh, I don't really know if this is the best way to do it. I think three pawn, three pawns is enough against the hippo. Um, but they are playing this well in terms of defending those central pawns. So. Hopefully I can back my own word up by not getting trampled. Uh, that being said, though, I mean, bullet chess, the four pawns is very hard to go against, right? Because already I'm like, oh, gosh, what do I do? Just create, just requires a lot of thought. Because um, it is it is defendable, but it's all about can you defend it? And obviously bullet chess is harder. So, okay, g5. g4 is played. b5, I'm talking too much. b5, I just felt like giving a pawn for some reason. Bishop takes a6. Okay, we'll just take that bishop off the board. We'll continue now with queen d7. This is kind of starting to feel like a Banco Gambit. Um, but all I mean by that is this that I'm down a pawn on the queen side. Okay, rook b7 is played. b4. I want to just... Man, this is just not my type of position. I'm going to be honest with you all. Okay, knight d7 is played. Bishop f6. Knight b3. King g7. Knight a5. Rook up. Come on, white. Turn this into a win. Just beat me already. Pawn takes. Uh, okay, I didn't actually mean beat me. Okay, attack the queen. Thank you for the bishop. Play h5 because it looks fun. Even though there's no freaking way I can get to the queen side. Okay, push pawn up to g4. So I'm up. To, I'm down two points of material. So I meant to say, but only 13 seconds. So anybody's game. It's taking quite a bit of time here actually. Uh, I'm gonna pre-move there because I don't really see what white can do with that uh queen a6 bada bing bada boom oh frick and i just lost i didn't lose wow he ran out of time okay he's probably pre-moving to h8 uh okay white's turn b3 okay they're going with the larson respect okay but they're not going with the hippo what the heck okay knight d7 we're gonna play g6 now we're gonna play bishop g7 and uh okay we're preparing to play g5 against h4 and h5 at any point. Just be prepared to do that in bullet. Uh, I could have just taken off that pawn, but I missed that. We'll play d5. Look, if you want to spend all that time trying to, you know, get off a pawn, then go ahead. I'm just going to continue developing with c5 on the way. Uh, I'll take back with the knight now. Hmm, that's interesting. I'll take back with this bishop. Hmm, knight takes h6 is definitely the way to go. But we see that instead, which simply just runs into a fork. And now we're just up up a, up a queen. But again, guys, look, bullet chess, you can't assume that you've won the game. You can't assume that you've lost. Um, it, it, so much doesn't come down to the evaluation, but just, um, you know, who can blitz out the moves the quickest. But obviously here, I mean, this is just winning, so I should be able to actually win this instead of just winning on time. And he just resigns the game. So let's keep it going. B3. Uh, this is my personal favorite way to start it off, but I mean, there's so many different move orders that you can play uh, with a hippo. I mean, come on. Let's play G3, Bishop G2. 
H3 now. G4, you're just giving me a ton of tempo, which I'm not complaining about. E4 now. A3. I mean, this is all stuff I want to do. Black, black here tried to put the pressure on, but I just did what I wanted to do right from the get-go. So we play knight h4 now. Uh, knight f5. Mm. Pawn take might be better there. Okay, a4. I'm, not, I'm gonna keep that open for now. Okay, f4. I'm gonna break open the king side, however. C4 is played. Okay. We can take on b5. We can play something like bishop a3. Try to be cute here and attack that bishop. You want to close it down? Cool with me. Close it down? Cool with me. I'm trying to attack you on the king side. Okay. You want to open up there. Black's not too concerned here about my attack. And uh, I'll admit it. I mean, this bishop on the fate's doing a great job. But we have h4. We do want to play h5, which we're going to do the very next move, by the way. Uh, okay. Bishop takes... I don't know why I thought that was a trap, but here we are. Queen a1. Okay. Uh, let's play g6 because I don't see anything better. Let's take and take and boom, bada boom, bada bing. Rook g4 attacking that knight. And okay, knight e5. Drop this rook back. Bishop h3. Okay, so obviously I'm just down on time here. So let's pick it on up. You know what I'm saying? Um, knight e7 check. That was me just trying to play cute. But obviously I just lose that bishop now. Wow. I don't know how, but somehow I'm not losing this position technically, although I probably will lose on time. There we go. On to the next one. Almost at 2400. So hopefully that, you know, I mean... Hopefully, uh, y'all are seeing that the hippopotamus defense as bad as, you know, some of my moves are in these games. Hopefully y'all can see that, uh, the hippo is a solid option in bullet, uh, and, and, and longer time controls. If you look at GM players, got a six, I want to play B five cause it looks like white's wanting to castle queen side, which I get to do anyways, cause of a five. Remember guys, if you see a move like a four play a six, uh, so that you can prepare that, so that you can prepare that B five push. We got C five now when we play C four. Uh, we'll play d5. I'm cool with that. We'll play rook c8. I got an eye on that pawn, which is big, uh, which I might just pick off right now. If you take here, the pawn e5 is going to be weak, so we take off that pawn. Now we're adding knight b3 ideas. Uh, knight c4 is also playable. We'll take here because the rook's aimed at your queen. Uh, now we just pick off that pawn. I mean, guys, the, the hippo is, I mean, your opponent's position can fall apart very quickly. Um if they're not careful, right? So, of course, here I just look like I just lost a piece or something. So that's great. But uh, queen takes h4, capture back, queen f6. Okay, so now we got three pawns for the piece, and I'm down on time. So this is just great. Uh, rook c4, queen e5, interesting. Here, uh, white really wanted to trade down. Can't blame them, and they got a knight. Very dangerous in bullet chess. Uh, let's play rook e8. Play h5. And, uh, okay. F6. All right, we got the pawn chain. Let's just start pushing these pawns up. Uh, let's be careful, though. Let's not lose a pawn. Because it can be very easy to have a chink in the armor, if that makes sense. Uh, but, of course, I think I'm going to lose this one just because I'm down so much time. Yeah, I'm trying to pre-move, but I only got 9 seconds, which only goes so far. F4, B5, King H6, King G7. Uh, okay. Notice I'm just putting my my uh, my pieces on dark squares for the most part, um, which is making it kind of hard for White to have to deal with the position uh, because the bishop is just less active, uh, particularly in bullet chess. Of course, as expected, I am just trying to not lose this, but I just lost. Okay. On to the next one. Let's keep it rolling. Let's try to break 24. Uh, okay, I've been playing B3 a lot. Let's just start this thing off with D3, right? I mean, there's so many different move orders. Let's just, you know, let's play B3, Bishop B2, E3, Knight there, Pawn there. Here, Black going, you know, I feel like Black has seen the hippo before because they're, they're playing as if they have. They're not wanting me to Fanchetto. 
but I still get my Fianchetto in after e4. There's really no way to stop the hippo setup uh, without just giving a lot in return. So, okay, rook g8. Uh, I'm not going to open that up yet. Nice try, though. Uh, c4. So here black is keeping their king in the center. I'm going to start open up, opening up the queen side because black's playing very aggressively on the king side. Uh, you want to play check? Okay, I'll just move my king back. I'll pre-move there. I'll just take that. You want to go up a pawn? That's cool. Uh, they don't want to go up a pawn. Interesting. Okay, rook c, c1. Always aim your rooks at the opponent's king or queen or put it on a open file. That's usually the way to go. Um, yeah, because you just never know when things are going to break open. Like right now, we're attacking the queen. And, uh, okay. I mean, if, if black plays a move like queen d6, we have queen takes, f, or knight takes f7, the queen's trapped. So, um, yeah, this is just winning. But obviously, I have to convert it. So we got boom. We got check. I was tempted to take here and take here, but might as well just go for the easier, more simple win. Bishop takes, pawn takes. Now we're just going to take off that knight. We're going to take off that bishop. Uh, we are in check. So we play an IC3. We got rook d1. I'm trying to trade down all my pieces. Took back with the knight so I wouldn't lose it on c3. We got queen d2 now. Kind of kicking this bishop around. Uh, let's just side that pawn on f7. Queen d5. Knight c3. And okay, I'm getting to that point where I'm starting to speak less and try to just win. Knight takes f6. Knight to 7 check. Okay. We'll, we'll capture back. I can't do that yet. Okay, and we got all our pieces on light squares, so we just walk our king in, game over. That's why I think bishops in the end, in bullet chess aren't as dangerous as knights, because you can just put your put your pieces on the opposite color. I mean, it sounds like something for kids, but honestly, in bullet chess, you know, you're playing against a dark sword bishop in the end game. Just put your pawns on light squares. Put your king on a light square. You can't run into checks. You can't run into any kind of dangerous pre moves from the bishop. So it's definitely helpful. Okay, d4. Putting pressure on there. We'll play knight f4 now. Um, black should probably take that knight at some point. Um, queen e8, though. Okay, so black's probably eyeing that, which is exactly what we see. So knight e2. So black here, you know, I, I made a little bit of a mistake there. I think h4 had to be played. Um, you know, but okay, let's take on d5. Let's take open the, you know, let's look at the open file now. Uh, hmm. Play f3. I gotta play knight b1 in the case of e3. So hopefully I can get Black's attack to fizzle out a little bit here. I got control of this fourth rank, but obviously these pawns are big targets. We got f4. I'm eyeing d5 now. Um, okay, knight h5. Okay, let's just... Mm, I was going to take a check, but who really cares if you're up a pawn, right? I mean, we're just trying not to get checkmate in a situation like this. Uh, take any three. By the way, nice username, Lord of the Rings. Any other Lord of the Rings fans out there, hit me up. Uh, knight g4, rook f3. We'll play knight d5. I said play knight d5, but I was trying to say that I wanted to take uh, there. Bada boom. Uh, this is looking ugly. I ain't gonna lie, guys. I ain't gonna lie. Knight e3 check simply loses material, but he doesn't see it. But now he sees that. Okay. Queen d3. Obviously, this is not the best position to work with. Um. Just trying to get him to pre-move. Or not trying to get him to pre-move, trying to get him to think. Uh, okay, let's just start marching our king up because this is all about content. Take an h7, play king g5. And uh, okay, I mean, I'm just losing this. All right. On to the next one. Let's try to break 2,400. Um, obviously, I think I'd hopefully be gaining some points off of this if I if I hit that level. So let's play d6, knight d7, g6, bishop g7. List goes on and on. Uh, okay, I'm not going to castle yet. Um, really, I shouldn't castle super early because my king um, is going to have a lot of flexibility in where it goes. Wow, a five pawn chain. Goodness gracious. Okay, now I'm going to castle because I want to play f5. You've spent all this time expanding on the queen side, and I don't really care. I'll pre-move there. I don't really care. You spent all that time. I've spent it developing, and now I'm going to go after king on g1. 
Well, that's the mindset at least who knows if that will actually happen, but okay. F four ideas, uh, knight f six first because this bishop is d six. C five is played. Nice move from white, but I can lock that bishop down now. C six, bishop c eight. Okay, nice pawn chain from white. So white here is wanna, wanting to go into an end game. I do not want that, so I'm gonna close this up. Uh, okay, obviously I just missed that. Uh, bishop g four, pinning the knight. Okay, g five. Okay, h3. So here white giving me a, a target to go after, which is not the best idea potentially in bullet chess. I've got knight g6, knight g4 ideas in the air. Of course, white here is just trying to make a queen before I can win. So knight h4. Let's see what we got. Okay, knight h2 looks fun. I'm going to do it. Wow. Talk about knight pair right here. Uh, whole idea being if king takes, we got knight takes f3. Okay, so the knight captures back. So we got bada boom, bada bang. We're attacking g2. Uh, oh gosh, how do I even convert this? Okay, f3. Um, knight back. They're going to make a queen, which I'm not too happy about. Mm, that's not good. Okay, so here white with one queen and then... But we got f2 check. We got knight h4 check, we got queen check, uh, we got queen check again, and here white's going to run out of time, hopefully. Okay, boom, there we go. On to the next one. Here we go, 23.99. Let's win this one, guys, and break 24. Bishop b2, e3, knight e2, d3. Uh, yeah, again, uh, black can try any setup they want. Here they just wasted the tempo. We're going to get the same thing every time. We're going to get a position like this, in which case we can now play e4 or d4. Uh, the second they advance, we have knight f4 ideas. We have c4 ideas, putting pressure here. Um, yeah, so we're attacking that minor piece now. Let's tuck our king in the corner. Let's play bishop h3. Knight g4 is played. Obviously, we got to get some reinforcements over here on the king side. Uh, okay, queen d2. I have a feeling here black's wanting to go for the mate, so they'll probably play queen h4. Okay, queen f3. Uh, okay, knight. Mm. Rookie one can be played now. Let's, uh, yeah, let's do that even though it's just completely losing. Ooh, f2, nasty. Nasty idea, so let's just take that guy off. And okay. At this point, you guys are wondering, why don't you just give up? Um, and I will. Okay, on to the next one. Uh, by the way, guys, I mean, thank you to all you guys that have been supporting the channel. Uh, let me know, again, if, um, you know, what you think of this video. Obviously, most of my stuff is about opening theory and stuff in that nature, but I do want to make a little bit of a shift and, and start expanding into other areas of chess content. So let me know what you think of this video and if you want to see more like this. we got Bishop G7, H6. Castle on king side. Uh, we can play e5 now. We can play f5 because it looks fun. So I'm more aggressive, right? So the hippopotamus defense, if you're more aggressive, play a move like f5 there. It's totally fine. If you're not as aggressive, that's totally fine too, right? I mean, you can play more reserved and, uh, you know, just try to get a solid game out of it. I'm playing g5, taking that knight off, taking this bishop off, continuing with queen f6, trying to pick off that f5 pawn. Um... But do I really want to pick it off, or do I want to go for the win? Uh, I'm going to go for the win, even though queen takes f5 is definitely better. Let's see what white does here. Knight e6. I was hoping they didn't see that. Okay, well. Uh, let's play f3 with check, because it looks fun. And then... I want to play that, but obviously my rook is attacked. Oh, wow, okay. In that case, thank you for the knight. And we will just snatch off that pawn. We'll drop our queen back. We'll form a triple battery ram on the F file because that never hurt nobody. Um, putting some pressure on F2. Bring this queen to the action. Okay, queen there. Uh, okay, I could go a lot of different ways with this. I'll just play rook F7, prophylactic. Uh, queen there. I want to play rook takes F2, but they'll probably see it. Um, actually, no, that's not a threat. Okay, knight F6. 
take for the queen, king h7, g4. Okay, and at that point, we got game over. Let's keep it rolling. Okay, b3, as planned. We got bishop b2 now, e3. Come on, celebrate. Break 24, knight d2, h3, knight e2. Okay, black, really going for it on the on the queen side here. Um, we got bishop g2, castle king side. Uh, e4 is probably the move I'm going to go with. And then I am totally cool trading off there, potentially, which is exactly what happens. Okay, knight d4, I don't really like your knight there, so let's just trade it off or get it out, one of the two. Or let me take it. I mean, I'm cool with that too. Queen f6, uh, let's play c4 because I like my bishop being active. And I'll take with the queen, although this just runs into bishop a6, which is exactly what my opponent plays. Isn't that the worst? Like when you play a move and then you're like, wait, that is a bad move. That was just bad. There's no way around it. So that's just what happened to me, by the way. Uh, okay, we'll take back. We'll play queen takes. Uh, queen d4. No, nah, I don't want to trade queen e2. Come on, bro, I told you I don't want to trade. How many times do I got to tell you this? Queen g4. I the rook, obviously. Um, okay, so they get the rook out. F5. My king's open, but, you know, bullet chess. Up 13 seconds. Try to complicate it, especially when you're down um, in terms of the position. So e5. I want to get a6 in. Um, might not happen, though. Okay, queen g3. Guys, by the way, in bullet chess, you face a position like this. Just start throwing pieces at your opponent's king. I should have really fought to keep queens on the board there because now I didn't realize uh, black had that much time on the clock. Um, I still have a chance here for sure. Um, but yeah, so I play rook g3, uh, king g1. Okay, you want to you wanna do that and be annoying? That's fine. Rook check, king g2. Uh, okay. Black here really trying to be cute. I don't appreciate that, man. Uh, king e1, bada bing, bada boom. Okay, come on, beat me. Are they going to have enough time? We shall see. Boom, got a draw. Guys, again, bull chess. You're winning, don't act like you've won. You're losing, don't act like you've lost. Stay in it. Right? That's how you got to do it. Okay, here we go. Uh, e4. Hopefully I can break 2400. Uh, bishop g7. d6. Play knight d7. h6. e6. Let's keep this wrong. Bishop e7. Okay, e5 can be played. Castle king side. f5 because I like to play aggressively. F4 because I like to play aggressively. Um, I was kind of just ignoring the side of the board, so that's what happens when you do that. Uh, okay. Mm. I'll play G5. I don't really care. Do whatever you want over here. I'm trying to get your king. I'm trying to get your king. Okay, knight G6. Queen H5 did not get played. Knight F6. I got knight H4 ideas. Uh, okay. Okay. Here, why try to be cute? Okay, bishop C8. You want to deactivate my bishop? Okay, I'll make it an active piece. F3. Here are the king side for white. It's definitely falling apart, but I just got to find a way to break through on that side of the board. Uh, let's play g4. And I got to convert this. Queen h4. We're eyeing f2. Um, let's see what happens here. Okay, there you have it. Um, yeah, let's see. Let's go to my ratings. Uh, okay. Broke 2,400. Maybe next video I can try to break, uh, 2,500. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching this video guys. I appreciate y'all. Um, yeah, I'll leave a link at the end of this one, which, uh, will show you all the hippopotamus videos that I made, uh, as always, uh, wishing you guys a great day, great week. Let me know what other kinds of content you want to see, what you think of this format and, uh, have a good week.